Hey guys, today we're at the mining office uh, where we have all of our miners running. Uh, we are going to go ahead and convert this mining rig uh, from EthOS because these are only 4 gig cards. So uh, as you know, e uh, the ETH uh, catalog is getting more than 4 gigs. So we're going to have to switch to something else. So what we're going to do is already attached. Um, it's a little sloppy, I know, but like I said, this is just uh, for testing really. Uh, and then we'll do it to all of our other rigs. Um, but we have a solid state drive 120 gig here that we already have uh, through SATA. We have a Windows 10 installation on here. And we're gonna go ahead and boot this up and uh, basically install Windows 10. And then we're gonna install our favorite uh, mining software on top of that to mine these five MSI cards. And like I said, we are switching from, we had EthOS uh, booting up on a thumb drive. Um, but like I said, we're going away from that on our cards that are only four gigs. Um, of course, our cards that have eight gigs, we're still gonna be utilizing uh, EthOS since you really can't mine Ethereum on four gigs, four gig cards anymore, we wanna to switch to something else. So we're just gonna wait for this to boot up. And it should boot up to Windows 10 here automatically since there's nothing on that SSD hard drive. So let's just give it a minute here. And I think, yep, there we have it. So we're loading up Windows 10. And like I said, I'm gonna walk you through uh, the Windows 10 installation. And then once we reboot the mining rig, we're gonna go ahead and install some mining software to get us uh, up and running on mining again. So we hit install now. Uh, I'm gonna head, I don't have a key right now. I'm just gonna select Windows 10 Pro because we have a key for that. And hit next, go to the terms, custom, so there's our 120 gig SSD, hit next, and it's gonna start the installation process. Once this gets done, you wanna make sure you remove the uh, USB thumb drive out of there, because I've seen in some cases, it's gonna want to uh, reinstall Windows 10 again. Um, it doesn't happen with every uh, motherboard or manufacturer, but like I said, it's just best practice. Just as soon as this gets done and you see the computer reboot, just remove that thumb drive because you no longer need it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, to go over the rig while this is installing. We have five MSI RX 480 four gig cards. We have a EVGA 1000 watt power supply, uh, eight gigs of memory. This is the uh, BTC uh, motherboard, which is meant for mine. That's why you see we have so many uh, PCI Express slots there. Um, so this is a rig that's just set up for mining. Uh, this was a custom uh, mining thing that I just made out of wood because uh, some of these cases can go th for stupid amounts of money. And I think I this total cost of this wood and the screws was maybe $10. I mean, if that, I mean, it's very cheap. Some of these mining rigs that look beautiful and they're nice, and I have a couple of them myself, cost me, you know, $180, $200 plus just for the thing to set on. So it's like, why not build it out of wood? Um, yeah, I know it doesn't look appealing, but hey, it's it's cost effective. Your RRI is a lot better because you're not spending all that money on the actual frame and you're just doing it out of wood. All right, once it reboots, we are now just have to go through the normal Windows 10 setup here. So we'll just say I don't have internet right now. I have it unplugged because I don't want to link my Microsoft account to it. So I kind of tricked the computer into thinking there's no internet. So it'll just let me create a local account, which is what I want on the Windows 10 computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable all these. So we don't need a tracking us for anything. Hit no, and then not now. And that's pretty much it. Once this is going, we can go ahead and plug um, the internet in for that device. And so I'll have internet now once we finish booting up. All right, so we are all set up. We're gonna go ahead and do some updates. So let's check for update. Let's fully patch our Windows machine here. Once we get done with that, um, I'm going to remote into the computer via RDP or set up TeamViewer or something to basically remote into the machine from my computer and then we'll just start the configuration from there. So we'll pick it up at that point. 
All right, you guys, we are now back on the mining computer now. We remoted into it. So now we're gonna install the software, Cryptech, to get our mining rig running. So the first thing we wanna do is log into our account. Now, if you don't have an account, go ahead and hit the create account and let's get logged in and then we'll take it from there. All right, once you get logged in, you're gonna to get to your dashboard. Now yours will be blank, but I've been doing some testing for the past uh, couple of weeks on this software to see what's kind of the best hardware for this mining rig. Um, so we want to go down to download our Cryptuck. It's going to download the latest version, or at least it should. Once it gets done downloading, we're going to hit run. And while that's running there, we're going to go to our hardware tab. So you can see your current machines that are running, and you can see our uh, you know, we have some offline, but we're going to be adding a new one in here. So we'll wait for this to open up here. All right, it's done downloading. It's going to minimize this. It's going to go ahead and start the install process here. Now, once this software gets open, we're going to have to run some benchmarks on the software. Go ahead and hit yes. So you can kind of test to see what's going to be the best uh, engine and what's going to be the best uh, mining that we're going to be doing so it's going to go ahead and load up here and it's going to log in with that same account information like we did before i'm going to pause the video and enter mine so you do the same to yours all right once we log in it's going to finish the installation of the components for the gpu so let's just wait for this to uh, finish and then it should automatically start the benchmarking and like i said what's what's that going to do is going to tell the software uh, what hardware you have uh, what's going to be the best engine it's going to use to mine with your hardware and it's going to do a lot of other testing behind the scenes so like i said let's just let this run let it uh queue for a little bit maybe grab some coffee right now and let's just wait for this to finish up and i'm going to go ahead and pause it um, it might take you a little bit longer um, to get through this process so just please be patient don't close out of the software just let it do its thing all right, it finished installing. So now, like I said, it's going to run that benchmark. So we're going to go ahead and start benchmark. Um, now, this is very important, uh, especially with Windows uh, built-in antivirus. You want to make sure uh, if you get a pop-up or notification that you know there's mining software running or some kind of malicious software running. You know, it's definitely a false positive. So just go ahead and, and allow that. Um, we might get ours popping up here shortly. Um, but I might I might have already allowed it. Um, so you def if you get a pop up, definitely allow it. This is a legitimate software. I've used um, many machines. Um, so yeah, just approve it. All right. Once your benchmark is done, it just depends on um, how many GPUs you have, uh, the CPU, and everything. But once you get this message that everything was passed, everything's okay, go ahead and click on Start Earning Money. And it's going to go ahead and enable everything on your computer to start mining. Now, I would suggest if you have a crappy CPU, turn that off. Um, because it's going to be processing your CPU and you really aren't going to get much from it. You're going to get maybe a dollar a month. Maybe, I mean, depending on the CPU, maybe $2. So is it really worth $2 a month to have your computer completely lagging and causing issues on your other GPUs? Probably not. So I would just leave that off. So you can see we have four video cards. We actually had five at one point, but the other one had some fan issues. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw that in the other video. So we unplugged that for now, but like I said, we're running this. And you can see it just started and we're already making a dollar a day, which is 35 bucks a month. That should go up a little bit um, depending on our hashes here. Um, so we'll let it churn a little bit. But yeah, that's it, you guys. That's how easy you can get a mining rig up and running in a matter of a couple of minutes with Windows and this uh, Cryptek software. Um, I definitely would recommend this to anyone that's not really savvy and trying to set up batch files and, you know, a nice hash and all of it. Now, nice hash has a G GUI now, which is kind of nice. So that's some another piece of software we can tr try and test out. We'll test that out in another video and see how comparable it is with uh, Cryptek. Um, but that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, please leave a comment below. Um, and you can see now we're at $38. And I'll leave it as that.
Enjoy making some money.